Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers making some news here on the second day of free agency by signing safety Deshaun Goldson away from the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, they pay Goldson handsomely five years, $41 million, with $22 million guaranteed. Obviously, the 49ers decided that that price was a bit too high for Goldson. Um, but, you know, again, he lands in Tampa Bay. Uh, he'll team up with Mark Barron, who they drafted in the first round at safety last year out of Alabama. So they're solid at safety for a while. Now the question is going to be in the coming days, do they trade for Darrell Rivas? They've been the main name you've been hearing lately as a possible trade partner with the Jets. Uh, this move to get Goldson uh, does not price them out of the Rivas sweepstakes. Uh, they still have enough cap room to bring on a guy like Rivas. You know, the problem with the whole Revis situation is not, uh, you know, it's coming up, first of all, with what is an adequate package that the Jets will accept from a draft pick point of view. But even more so than that, uh, deciding if you want to give a cornerback a 14 to $16 million a year contract, which is what Revis is going to want and likely demand uh, if a trade is made. Because certainly when he's healthy, he's going to want 14 to $16 million, And um, odds are is... You know, if he no team's going to risk trading for him if they don't think they can sign him to that extension. So the Buccaneers are still in play for Revis. I don't know if that would be the best move for them. I know they still need help at cornerback, but they do have a top 15 pick. Uh, there are some other uh, cheaper alternatives available on the free agent market. And, you know, I just think, you know, given Goldson this big contract, then if you were to give Revis $15 million a year, you know, is that hamstringing you if, like, let's say a guy like Michael Bennett leaves? Okay, and you need to uh, find help on that defensive line to get after the passer. Is that going to preclude you from bringing in quality guys at that position? Now, I think it's basically going to come down to the Bucks are going to assess where is the draft, where can we get a better player in the top 15 picks, at corner or at the, a 4-3 rush defensive end to replace Bennett because it looks like odds are he's going to leave uh, Tampa Bay. You know, And I think the decision will sort of uh, be dependent on uh, how – the Buccaneers think of this upcoming draft class because again that 15 million dollars for a cornerback can really really hamstring your salary cap uh, for the three or four year deal that they'd probably have to give Revis. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think it's a great move getting Goldson. I think it was an area of need and Goldson was obviously the best safety to me um, on the free agent market this year. Let me know what you guys think of the Goldson deal. Do you see the, the Bucks getting Revis? You think they should pass on him and you know get some cornerbacks through some other means here. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at S News Analysis. And guys, I'm uploading you know, anywhere from 5, 10 videos a day here uh, you know, about the NFL and all other sports. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to get all my videos uploaded directly to your feed. Thanks again for listening, and have a great afternoon.